Dear James Mumby, this is for you. You're a human being first, and I'd appreciate you listening to me for a change, Mr. Judge. I was with you five days, Mr. Mumby, five days, trying to get some contact with my son. And what did you do? You just spun it out, made me suffer, knowing my son is mute, knowing you're keeping him mute, and knowing you're stopping him from speaking the truth. What kind of evil are you, sir? You're supporting militant psychopaths who are stalking relentlessly women and children around the world in order to rape them and keep them prisoner. You are doing this to people! And I'm telling you, as the blood of the Plantagenet, which may or may not be Christ's blood, but it's the blood of kings, which is more than I can say for Queen Elizabeth Windsor Wittgenstein round the corner. I'm talking to you now as the mother of James Jones and someone you have offended deeply. You are hurting people all over the place and I command you stop it because the Queen won't do it. Mr. Malcolm Rifkin, Toadie won't do anything. Nobody, nobody will do anything. This world has become a disgusting, heaving pit of Satanism. And I am telling you as a pure, purest Plantagenet, both parents, Kings are blood, covered up by violent, no-good psychopaths. You are one of them, sir. I'm sorry to give you this charge. I am very sorry to have to give you this charge, seeing as your senior position. And I'm very, very sorry to have to say this in public. Because it doesn't make our country look very good. But, sir, I have to remind you, you're not looking at the internet. You're not looking at people. You're not listening to people. And everybody isn't bananas. Not everybody is a lunatic. Not everybody is going to fall for it. And they're not falling for it anymore. And the growing, huge, enormous army of people are growing and learning and growing and learning. And I would say... Take the advice of financial people who are warning you about the pitchforks coming because it's not such a lunatic thing to think of that. It's not such a lunatic thing to think that revolution's coming. You haven't been looking, sir. You need to look. You need to listen. You need to know what you've done. You've committed the most despicable crimes in order to exploit children and women, vulnerable, good people. And you're allowing terrible crime and rapes and violation, exploitation and all kinds of disgusting things. And no, I am not delusional. And yes, I studied behaviorism. And I will let people be my judge. They know. They know what, it, what has gone on around here. It's all being exploited now in all these bent councils with all their bent paedophiles and all the bent coppers and all the bent social workers and all the lying sociopathic rapists that are, have been taken over the last 19 years or so since NLP came in. Awful practice. Awful practice. We all know about Levianism. We all know about Satanism. We all know how about the Delphi. We all know how it's done, Scientology and everything. We have gone to town on learning, sir, in a way you've done us good and proud by taking away this awful dumbing down that Blair gave us. But we're out of that now. We're learning. But you're killing people. You're killing innocent people all over the place. What kind of joy do you get out of that and why? Uh, or are you just head in the sand lunatic? What the hell are you doing to my country? People, millions of people have given their lives for our freedom of speech, for our liberty. And what have you done? What have you done to our country? What have you done? Because people are absolutely waking up now. It isn't just me. Have a look at David Icke's stuff, even though he's regarded as a nutcase to a lot of people. He's not. He's not. You have to check it out. He's not nut. There's millions of people onto you now. You can't get away with this. Open the courts. One hearing. One, one hearing. You could do it with a landmark ruling. You know I know that. You can open the courts. You don't have to have the secret courts anymore. It's child A, child B. You do not have to have secret courts. You have had a no intention of making care homes decent and, and danger free for kids. Or you, you, Nobody has given kids communication device. They're gagging them, you're hurting them. And no, you have a, you've got a very bad reputation, even among your own kind, that are so scared to speak out. 
you know, I feel sick speaking to you because I know how awful you are. And, and that's terrible to think that the top guy in the land is as either naive or as evil as you. I like to think it's just naive because you spend so long in a darkened room judging people, which makes you a bit strange. Okay? I would know about that because I've spent an awful lot of time thinking in darkened rooms. Not always of my own choice. So I'd really appreciate it. So if you'd not take my anger as anything but just honesty and exercising my freedom of speech as it is at the moment. Okay? Thank you.